Welcome to today's video. I will show you how to create a web API using Python's fast API in just 5 minutes. Whether you are new to backend development or looking for a quick and easy way to set up a Python API, this tutorial is perfect for you. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This channel isn't monetized yet, so your support helps me create even better content for you. First, we need to install the fast API and ubicon python packages on your terminal type pip or pip3 install fast api ubicon hit enter now let's write our api i will show you how to create an api to store and retrieve stuffed toys first we import fast api we will also import http exception to handle errors and respond appropriately to the client when needed. Next, we create a fast API app object. This is the core of our application and allows us to define routes for our API. For this tutorial, I have created an in-memory list to store stuffed toy names. In a real-world application, we would interact with a database, but for simplicity, we are using this Python list. I start with a basic hello world API. I create a function that returns the message hello world. I annotate this function with app.get to specify that it responds to an HTTP GET request. For the route, I use slash so this function will be called when accessing the base URL. Next, I write a GET method to fetch the list of stopped toys. I use the route slash toys the function simply returns the stuffed toys list now i want an http post method to add toys to the list i use the same route the function takes the toy name as a parameter appends it to the list and returns a success message to run the api i use the following command uvcon app colon app double dash reload here's the breakdown of this command app.py is the file name app is the fast api object used in our code if you change your file name or the object name change this command accordingly the reload flag ensures the server automatically reloads whenever changes are made hit enter and a link will appear in the terminal open the link and you will see the default response hello world one of the great features of FastAPI is its auto-generated Swagger documentation. Add slash docs to the URL and it takes you to the Swagger page. Here you can see all the endpoints, their methods and even try them out directly in your browser. Get Toys API. Initially, it returns an empty list since no toys have been added. Add toys API. This executes a post request to add toys. For example, I add teddy bear. The API responds teddy bear added successfully. I also add another toy. It's also added successfully. Now again, I execute the get toys API. This now returns the list of toys you have added. Fast API allows us to add custom documentation for our endpoints. Add a summary, description, and tag for each method as shown here. I have documented the get toys and the add toys APIs. Now when you revisit the swagger page, the methods are grouped under the specific tags. You will see the summaries and the descriptions, making this API more readable and user friendly. With just a few lines of code, we have created a fully functional web API in Python. You can test it with tools like Postman or use it to create front-end applications. Fast API makes it simple, fast and efficient. If you found this video helpful even in a small way, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a like. Your support makes a big difference, especially since this channel isn't monetized yet. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.